Hello everybody and welcome to the Diamond Sword RPG 1.5, a Zelda inspired adventure map by Mick underscore 5. Oh my gosh, it's a mouthful. Welcome everybody back to uh, Adventures with Mick. Well. That's a... Uh, tad bit spooky thank you mick very cool so uh welcome to the first installment of a full walkthrough for this entire map start to finish all of the high points we're going to start right here at the beginning and work our way to the very end of the map so this will be a complete full walkthrough of mick's map we're going to cover the main storyline, main chest that you need to actually complete this whole map. So we're going to start here in the launch area, as I call it. Um, I pretty much have everything already set up so that we can start this adventure. As a side note, all music and sound effects were written by Mick5. All of their sounds heard throughout the game. The map are already used by Minecraft and can be used on YouTube when making a video royalty free. So that's good for anybody who wants to do a let's play of this. Important settings, smooth lighting off. I believe I have that set. Smooth lighting off, I guess. Minimal, F3, H2 tips turned off. Yep, yep, yep. I believe I've got all this set up. Map is designed for one player. However, you can do it with two. Doesn't mean you should do it with two. And the render distance is set to 11, at least. You know what, let's just set it to 11, just to make me feel better. Game normal recommended. Uh, texture pack comes preloaded with the game, so you don't need to worry about that. Turn my microphone down just a hair. So, render this is set to 11. Uh, please read. I created bugs. Yep, yep, good. So, I'm going to hit the button, and we're going to begin. Alright, so that little cutscene gives us a little bit of context into what will be coming in the map, as far as the story. Um, good information I have here. Ender chests are going to be used to store items in the game, as well as things in chests. Uh, cooked chicken. I don't need that. Entrance into dungeons. I'm going to need that. So there is a glitch with the game. If you talk to a villager while you have a potion in hand, um, it will con you will consume the potion, so just be aware of that. Um, so, read this one because it's kind of important. This is a large adventure map. Throughout the map, you'll gather lots of items, but remember you can store all your old and unused items in your chest here. Who knows, you may want to sell them, or maybe you are a hoarder. Either way, these chests will come in handy. A note on dungeons. If you enter a dungeon, then you can, compl then you can complete it. Every dungeon will have an end dungeon boss, and the dungeon is not complete until the boss is defeated. If you find yourself stuck in a dungeon, remember to look up and down, look all around, look in every corner under... And under, look in, look in every corner and under and between every block. So that is very good advice. There is a lot of hidden buttons in this map, but don't worry. I've already played through this once before. If you are a fan of the channel, you know I actually did Diamond Sword 1. Diamond Sword 1.5 is actually an overhaul of the original Diamond Sword RPG map. Um, more on that a little bit later, I believe. Or I'll discuss that as we get into, uh, in between... Uh, places. Uh, let's see here. 
go straight ahead to the Desert Pyramid. I don't actually need anything there. Game rules, I am already very well informed. The quest rundown I will take. I'm not going to need map rules. Oh, might as well while I'm here. Actually, that's literally just what we went over in the beginning area. So the quick quest rundown will tell you in a very high level overview of what you have to do to complete this uh, map. Chicken is going to be our lifeblood in this playthrough. Sent to the balcony. Yes, at some point I did. So this is the Diamond. So this is Diamond Sword RPG 1.5. Um, as I said, this map was actually uh, is actually a redesign of the original Diamond Sword RPG. Oh. So our first thing is we need to get the stone from Glowstone Cave. So it'll be a basic sword that'll begin taking us through this game. Glowstone Cave is just over in that direction. So Glowstone Cave straight ahead. All right. Another kind of cool feature is uh, once you get the sword, you'll actually be able to break this grass, and there's things in the grass, like coins and stuff. Also, um, located all around the map, there will be chests. Just look around. There's chests everywhere in this game that you can use to collect up uh, additional emeralds for uh, more resources. So this is Glowstone Cave. If we take a look around here, Obviously, that's not the way forward. Uh, this is the way forward. And here's our very first button. Very nice. Thank you. An entrance open, and I'll take the sword. I'm going to go back here, and there will be a entrance right over here. So this is the web cutter. You can use it to slice through cobwebs, and it will never break. Our next objective is to go to the pyramid in the desert. And first mobs! Excellent, that, was, that wasn't so bad. See all the grass? You can chop it down. Who knows, you might find items hidden in the grass. You may need to chop down a lot, though. So as you're progressing through, you can actually just chop down the grass. And there you go. See, there's uh, a case of just, like, emeralds hidden in the grass. So feel free, uh, during this map, walk around. You never know what you're going to find. For example, a chest right there with extra chicken in it. So always be sure to look high and low, because you never know where a chest might be. There's the other spider. Wow, that uh, volume is actually pretty loud in my ear. There we go. You can actually think a little bit here. It's uh, a little loud there. So as as of while we travel to the next location, uh, this is an overhaul of the original Diamond Sword RPG map, hence why uh, Mick and I are dubbing it Diamond Sword RPG 1.5. Um, so this isn't an entirely new map, but it is an overhaul of the previous one with, uh, different bosses. There we go. Hidden hole right here. Uh, bosses are redone. Uh, Mick overhauled all the, uh, redstone. Uh, there's a lot more, there's a lot more command block usage, I would say, in this map. So if I head down, I want to make sure there's nothing over here. Because again, you just never know on this map where stuff is hidden. I, by no means, uh, playing through this map, found everything. Oh, bread. Way to get this bread, guys. Um, I, by no means, will find everything in this game. But I will find everything we need to complete the story. So yeah, just feel free. Take the sword out. Hit grass with it. Again, you really never know what you're going to find. So, uh, there is something that you need to be on the lookout for here. 
there is a chest over here that's going to have a gold coin in it. This happens to be gold coin 2 of 12. You're going to need all the gold coins to progress to the second dungeon, the forest dungeon. Or, I believe the forest dungeon is the next dungeon. So you do need 12. That was number 2. Uh, where was number 1? Number 1's up here. So here's one of two. So there's the first two out of 12. And there are three in this immediate vicinity. Let me just read up quick on our quest rundown. Pyramid. All right, so our next step is to stop is to the old pyramid. While uh, on the way to the old pyramid, though, be on the lookout for those chests with the gold coins in them. Again, you have to have those to advance. There is 12 of them, and they are can be a little tricky to spot. There's number three. So that complete. So those are the first three in this immediate vicinity. Now, once we cross over the bridge, right here, uh, we're going to be on the lookout for more. Uh, Trader's Desert. I will set spawn point here. So these skeletons, once you kill them, they don't respawn. So uh, you will be venturing back and forth through this area. Excuse me, um, a considerable amount, so it's definitely worth your time just, you know, axing them off. So we are going to follow this inconspicuous uh, path to gold coin number eight. There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah. So, uh, you will need to follow the inconspicuous... Inconspicuous. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking at this point, because words are... Words are very hard right now. So that was gold coin 8. Gold coin 7. Let's see here, what's... I like to try and collect up as all the as many of the gold coins as I possibly can before I uh, advance. So we've got three. So I believe another one is up here in this parkour puzzle. So that's four. Let's see here. Here's number four. If I can just remember where number five was. I believe number five is out here somewhere still. Huh. Inconspicuous ladder with chicken in it. And then a note. Drop note. Let's see what it says. Um, I found the pyramid secret. I'm going to try pushing against the wall at the end. I think I can move it. That will come in handy later. So you do need this web cutter to even gain access into the pyramid. A few more cooked chickens. I'm going to kill a couple more of the skeletons just kind of lying about. Just because I don't want to have to deal with it later. So the stone cave we will be dealing with later, as well as the sand village. And I am very much nearly the dead. So we have four, seven, and eight. So we're missing gold coin five and six. Let's see if I can't remember where those are. So in doing the trailer for the Diamond uh, Diamond Sword RPG 1.5, I actually had to play through the entire map, um, as you would imagine, to get all the trailer footage. It just seems as though I can't... Oh. Ah, there we go. 
but it seems like for the life of me, I just can never remember where everything is. Because there's a lot. There's number five. Four, five. So I'm missing number s gold coin number six. Gold coin number six, seven, and eight. So I believe the first eight are pretty readily accessible here. I believe we need to actually progress along the story to get uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Actually, I had misspoken uh, about the gold coins. On the back side, there's actually coin number 9. So on the back side of the pyramid, next to this oasis, in this chest, is gold coin number 9. So you still need 12 to get to the uh, forest dungeon, but Number nine is accessible before completing the pyramid. So I am going to trade off all of my emeralds here for additional chickens, which I can no longer afford. So chicken is your best friend in this whole game. I recommend you keep chicken very highly stocked. So we are at the 15 minute mark, but I at least want to get in the pyramid before I end the episode here. Done. So this is pyramid level one. Um, when we come back with the next episode, we're actually going to, uh, depending on the time frame, either complete most of the pyramid, if not complete the pyramid entirely. In terms of walkthrough, we will probably just do the entire pyramid so I can have it condensed to a single episode. So thank you all for your support on this first episode of the official walkthrough of the Diamond Sword RPG 1.5. Um, I look forward to seeing you next episode.